Today, I thought what I'd do is look at one of the features that I know uh, is really useful for a lot of people, but it's not one that a lot of people maybe think of or see uh, or understand is even there because it is, it, it's not, I wouldn't say it's hidden, but you know, you'd, you'd have to really kind of know a lot more about the function of how to set up smartphone to really know it's there. And that is um, the business hours applets in the call flow system. So this means, uh, you know, obviously the flow system is how do we handle inbound communications, right? Someone's calling us or texting us. We create a workflow to do that. The, the things that I know people use a lot is, well, business hours. What do we do? Uh, you know, what we want to make sure that people are directed in the right way when we are all here and when we're not, that they're directed somewhere else. So uh, I'm going to dive into that because it does work for both uh, texting and calling. And again, I don't think a lot of people want to know that it works for texting as well. Um, and it's a, it's a pretty cool feature. So I'm going to dive into that, show you a bit around it so you know where it is. Uh, and then we'll open up, as always, to your questions uh, and, and get anything from you guys. So I'll share my screen quickly. To, to do this, we're going to go into the uh, call flows part of the admin uh, administration section. Now, uh, you can do that by either clicking this button here or by going into your admin menu and going into call flows. The user's phone number and call flows are sort of the powerhouse parts of the smartphone setup area. So I'm um, just gonna pop down to call flows and I do have one that's prepared called smartphone Q&A uh, business hours flow. So I know which one to work on. Um, and I'm gonna pop into the phone, uh, the, the, the voice uh, call flow to begin with. So um, why do people use this? A couple of reasons. And I wanna show you a couple of ways you can use it. Number one, and the most obvious use case is of course, uh, you know, we work from Monday to Friday, nine to five, Saturday, nine till two. And we wanna make sure that we're getting calls directed to our live team when we're here and we're not, maybe we've got a answering service or maybe we wanted to go to voicemail directly or get routed somewhere else, whatever it is, to be able to do that is really helpful. Um, so there are two ways I see people using this the most. Number one is right off the bat, you know, as soon as a call comes in, we're gonna set the business hours. And the second way I've seen it work really well is actually on the back of an IVR menu. So uh, because different teams are sometimes available at different times, so you can actually get this more granular than you'd think. Um, let me just start off with the basic, right? How do we use business hours? We simply drag the business hours uh, over and it pops us up with some options. Now, very simple here, uh, Monday through Sunday, and quick note, you do want to make sure you check what the server's current time is. Um, essentially, you have the option of setting your time zone in the main administration of smartphone. If this doesn't say the correct time or, or thereabouts, it's not, you know, obviously it's, I've been here for a minute, so it's, it's, it's still saying 8.05 p.m. Um, if it doesn't say the correct time, then you may need to make sure you remember you you go in and adjust your time zones settings because th this is the uh, the time setting that we're going to use in the business hours. And of course, you've got uh, two main things to do here. Number one, you can set per day uh, your time. So, what time uh, am I going to be open? I'm going to be open from let's say nine a.m to, uh, I don't know, 6 p.m., right? So 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Mondays. And of course, I can just, you know, so I'm not going to go do all these because it's boring as shit um, if I keep doing that. But I'm now open Monday to Tuesday, uh, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And critically, I am closed every other point. And of course, you can um, set these to whatever you currently are doing. Um, once you've got your days set up, you've got two options. What do I do? when we are marked as open, i.e. within these time periods, uh, Monday and Tuesday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. What do I do when we're open and what do I do when we're closed? And at this point, you have the same options you always have. You could do a round robin or a dial or an IVR. And essentially, the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to check the time, the business hours. And the second thing it's going to do 
is it's going to then route it to whichever one of these is appropriate. In this case, I'm going to dial, let's say, myself uh, when we're open. And when we're closed, I'm actually going to go ahead and go straight to voicemail, right, without any delays at all. And I'll go to my own voicemail. So here, a very, very simple example of right away setting the business hours for this flow. The other way that I have seen this work really well, sorry, I'm not going to actually quit. I'm going to remove it, is I'm going to uh, put an IVR in the first. So an IVR, as you know, is an interactive voice recording. This is when you call someone and it says, hi, press one for sales, press two for finance press three for maintenance, whatever that is. And this can work really well as well if you've got teams that have different hours and you want to make sure each team is getting uh, routed appropriately. So in this case, let's just say keypad one is going to be my finance team or sales team, let's say. And I'm going to say key press uh, two uh, is going to be my... Um, let's say I'm gonna, this is gonna be my finance team, right? Whatever it is. Um, so now that I've got this as the first step, i.e. the IVR recording is gonna play and they're gonna have the options of which team to, uh, to pick, now I can go ahead and set different hours for each. So instead of this dial applet, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dro drop the business hours. And now for this single setting, number one, I have my own business hours and my own, what do I do when I'm open? What do I do when I'm closed? So again, I could be, if it's the first one is sales, maybe we're open nine till 9 p.m. every day. But the second one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to say, well, actually, but the second one's finance and they're only open for these days. And this is what we do when they're open and closed. So there's two really ways of doing it. Um, it's a really powerful thing to do. It's really helpful. You also should know um, that it works the, um, as well with your SMS flows. So what happens when someone texts you, you have the same option. So you can go ahead and say, well, if they text me within these hours, I want it to do X. If they text me outside, I want to, not only do I want the, the, the message coming in, but I want an automatic reply as well, right? So I've got those options to say, well, when I'm closed, I'm going to do not only this, but I'm going to go ahead and send them a message as well. So it's a it's a really good um, kind of method of doing it. Um, the other thing that can work really well, and I just thought I'd call it out since we're on the flows today. Um, one of the things I've seen a lot of people do uh, successfully with their flows is to have a standard flow here called holiday. Um, and that holiday flow can be, you know, an immediate go to voicemail or a special message saying, hey, we're on holiday or our office is closed. And that way, if you have a standard one there set there, you can simply point the phone numbers you want to go on holiday um, to that flow. And you, you can kind of within a, a couple seconds, you can set your whole business to a holiday flow and your phone system will kind of follow suit. That's a really useful little tidbit as well that I thought I'd throw in, given what we are talking about call flows today. Uh, so I think that's, uh, that's a, a decent summary of the business hours applet. I find it really useful. And I know a lot of our customers um, who have teams uh, use it a lot to make sure that it gets routed in the right way.